There is gl growing global backlash to trophy hunting this morning in the wake of the illegal killing of a prize lion in Zimbabwe by an American dentist. American Airlines and Delta now banning the shipment of big game animals like lions and elephants as trophies. The question is, can poaching be stopped? Joining us now is Animal Planet's large predator expert, Dave Salmoni. Good to have you back on the program. Sorry we have to talk about this again because now we've had word that there is another uh, American, this time a doctor, that's accused of illegal trophy hunting in Zimbabwe and that it occurred months before Cecil was killed. What was your reaction, Dave? I don't think it was one of surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, you know, I, I feel like th this is something that's been going on for years and years. The, the trophy business is, is, is a big business. Uh, so people like myself, we, we've been aware of this and trying to fight for this or against this, obviously, uh, for years. But the fact that they've decided to, to backtrack for a month and choose this guy, I don't know what happened. What kind of safeguards are in place to prevent illegal poaching or, or this kind of illegal hunt? Yeah, in most of these national parks, most of these protected areas, you, you start with a fence because that's the way we do it. You, you build a fence and then you patrol that fence. So most of these parks will have their anti-patrol teams and they'll go, they'll be out sort of 24 hours, you know, looking for signs of, of poaching from, you know, subsistence poaching, which is just some guy who's trying to feed his family, mm. all the way up to the uh, type of poaching that, that, that this, these trophy guys use. There's been a lot of backlash globally uh, about these two stories, these two cases, but then there's also been uh, big uh, trophy hunters speaking up, sort of saying, look, uh, you know, this is what we love to do. It is a sport to us. Some of them argue that they do more for conservation uh, than conservationists do, and I know you've had opinions on that. And then others will say it's not about the killing of the animal, it's about the hunt. Yeah, I, I feel like it's, they certainly don't have any moral or ethical grounds to stand on. You know, the fact that you could spit out your mouth, I get a thrill from killing something, hmm. I don't understand. You know, the other fact where they, they hide behind the shield of, of conservation, they feel like all their money that they spend goes to, you know, help, helping animals. And, and the fact is, it doesn't. Absolutely, they pay a lot of money for their permits and it goes to some governing body somewhere, but those dollars do not hit the ground in conservation. They don't trickle so, down that way. And they do know that. So yeah. it, it's, it's, it, they're just trying to sleep well at nighttime. Okay, so a lot of people are struggling with trying to figure out how they can make, a, how make this change. But we've seen something change. We know that both American Airlines and Delta now say they will not transport animals that have been hunted uh, in this fashion. Do you think that's a step in the right direction, Dave? There's a lot of steps in the right direction. This is a great positive that's coming out of such a tragedy with this mm. lion. Um, we've had the same question, so we've we've started up our own website, uh, animalsarenottrophies.com. Mm -hmm. You can go there and you can get information, figure out what you're passionate about, who you think is doing a good job. You can either you know donate your money, donate your time, or donate your voice. And it seems like globally people are starting to do that because they're starting to realize that this trophy hunting is is pretty despicable. Can you give us an update, uh, perhaps, on the, the state of that pride? We know that in Cecil's death, in his absence, his brother Jericho, who was part of this sort of ma these alpha males that were sort of protecting uh, the pride, Jericho sort of steps up there. Does that mean that th those cubs will be protected? Well, they'll be protected as best as Jericho can. Jericho is part of a coalition uh, that he formed with Cecil. The, the loss of Cecil makes things a lot more difficult. What happens is there's sometimes, you know, just individual males that try and take over a pride or other coalitions of two, three, or more. So, you know, if an individual male comes, Jericho might have a great chance of, of protecting his pride. But now, as his chances, you know, carry on as time goes on, he's going to come across a coalition that's bigger than himself and, and really be outmatched. So the hope is that he's able to protect those cubs long enough for them to get big enough right. uh, that they're not nursing anymore. All right, Dave Salmoni, thanks for joining us. We should point out that Animal Planet is going to air a marathon for World Lion Day, which is Monday, August 10th. You can go to, as Dave mentioned, animalsarenottrophies.com for more information.